Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylerius aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right, today's video, we are talking about this special vehicle work, all right? Special vehicle work for this week, all the way through Wednesday the 7th, is going to be double cash money and RP. Now listen, this is a, uh, a guide. This is kind of like, you know, a few little tips and tricks. There's really not much to this though. They're pretty simple. And I will be totally honest. It's, this is not, you know, the best way to make money in the game. But what I have found out from playing these, because I have not played these in years, these missions are a lot of fun and they're pretty easy. And even though you don't get paid that much, even on double money, and you guys know me, I have screamed and begged Rockstar to adjust their payouts for missions like this so more people will get involved with them they should be double money always um anyways that's that's a different video but you do get to unlock millions of dollars of worth of discounts for some of the vehicles that you use in these missions so you launch the missions from your office just like you see right here and there's eight different missions and you get discounts on the ruiner the ramp buggy the phantom wedge uh, you know, the Rocket Voltic, you know, all these little vehicles that you see in these thumbnails, you'll, you'll unlock those discounts for. And that's really, really beneficial. The RP is good, so if you're trying to rank up, that helps out. And like I said, they're not too terribly difficult, uh, you know, and you can make a decent amount of money. Once more, though, it's about just having some fun with these and enjoying them. You know, I get asked all the time, Ty, how do you still play? Why do you still play this and that? Well, this is part of it right here. Just enjoying the content. Just enjoying the content. And that's part of it right there. And you'll still get some decent money. So let's talk about the missions and what you need to have to go through with these and get them done. First of all, there is kind of an issue. You can't do these solo. You have to have at least one other person. But that's okay because you will gain a little bit of extra money the more people you have. It's These missions are two to four people. And you'll get some bonus RP for playing with your friends and stuff like that. So you get a little bit of extra cash for that, a little bit of extra P, you know, RP with your friends. And uh, again, this will help you kind of maybe make some friends, you meet some new people to, to make other money with in the future. And I'm showcasing just a couple of missions on this because these are all pretty cut and dry. I mean, you just you know follow the instructions, you go there. And you know even if you die once or twice, it's no big deal, right? You know, you'll learn them. And... It's, they're, you know, they're just really fun. It's it's simple. They're not too difficult, not too hard. So I'm doing the ramp buggy, which is the first mission. And then we'll also do the phantom wedge. You know, I talk about these vehicles in my, you know, discount vehicle pick of the week video. And they're all, they're both on discount this week anyway. So I wanted to kind of showcase those. But it's, they're just really fun and good missions. And I was really pleased. I was like, man, these, why don't I do these more often? Just to kind of break up the, you know, just the monotonous money grind that we're all into. You know what I mean? They're running crates all the time or, you know, stealing cars or stuff like that. And, you know, even though they don't get ter or crazy pay, you know, it's not terrible. It's, you know, I've seen worse double money pay, you know, <laughs> it's not the best. But if you do all eight of these missions, it'll take you roughly an hour and a half, I would assume, or, you know, depending on your skill level. It took us roughly like 10 minutes to get through uh, these two missions, 10 minutes each. You know, and that's with us just kind of like remembering how to do these. Uh, on the second uh, mission, I even died a couple of times because, you know, I'm a noob like that. I just forgot what to do. I didn't have any armor. I didn't have any snacks. Definitely do that. Always snack up and get your armor before you do these. Um, and yeah, I mean, it was no big deal. 23,840 in about 10 minutes. So if you do all eight of these, it's about 80 minutes. We'll say 90 minutes, hour and a half. You know, you'll make between 160, 175,000. That's really not that bad. That's some of the best money per hour that you can make in the game. You know, is it the best overall? No, of course not. You know, right? Uh, but you know, you can only run the the Diamond Casino heist. You know, so many dozens of times before you're like, okay, let me just take a break and do something else. And like I said, for people like me who have hundreds of millions of dollars. It's not just about making the money anymore. It's about the fun of the game. It's about the content and enjoying the game. You know, I, I will always be a money grinder no matter what. But you get to a point you, where you can actually enjoy the game again. You know, you, there's there's a, port, or a, a point in the game where you are a total noob. Then you turn into a, a money grinder for months and months and months. And then after, you know, a year and you have 500 million, a billion dollars or whatever, you can really just kind of take a breath and buy a whole bunch of stuff, enjoy the game. And that's kind of what you are working for, right? What's the point of working that hard if you can't enjoy, 
you know, the, the benefits and the fruits of your labor, right? And I look at this. I mean, I'm pulling <laughs> contraband off this cart right there. I didn't even remember this. And I thought that, man, stuff like this was only brought into like, you know, the casino update, right? Where you're pulling money off of a cart and stuff. They've had this in the game for a long, long time, you know, and these missions are really cool. They're, they're, they're complex enough to where it's interesting, but they're not too difficult to where it's impossible, like a doomsday heist. You know what I mean? It's like you're, you, everything's bugged out and stuff like that. It's not like that, you know? And uh, for this particular mission, you got two people with you. Each person has to take turns getting these, uh, you know, as you see in the bottom right corner, you have your bag inventory and then the total uh, inventory. So, you know, two people, one person will go half, other person collects the other half. And that's, it's really simple. It's really easy. You don't have to really work too hard. It's not rocket science to do these. And of course, you just get to ride through, smash a bunch of cars up and uh, just have a good time. The other missions involve the Mark I oppressor. So if you haven't used your Mark I oppressor in a couple of years, it's just collecting dust. You get to at least use the one in these missions. Now, You'll be able, you can use other vehicles in these missions. I would recommend just stick with the vehicles they give you. Enjoy that. You know, enjoy having fun with the vehicles that they provide for you because not only are you going to be getting the discounts with them, but it's just, it makes it a little bit more challenging. You know, you're not just out there throwing rockets everywhere. And you actually get to understand what these missions were designed for and the content that Rockstar gave us with these missions. Now, you know, like I said, these came out with the, Import export DLC. It was part of that whole entire thing. You store these vehicles in your import export garage, the same place where you source your cars and store those. And it's in the basement down below. And once again, you know, the pay is not the best. I will admit that. I will say it a million times. I know, I know. People are like, oh, Ty, I'm just going to do casino heist. Well, that's fine. It's totally up to you. But if you've got good money, you sitting on millions of dollars, enjoy the game, my friend. Experience the content. If you've never done these, why not? Take an hour and a half of your grind and enjoy new content. Have a good time with it. All you got to do is snack up, armor up, have one friend with you. And I know sometimes that's difficult, right? To get someone to help you out. But that's a good, this is a great way to break that that mold and get you somebody that you can hang out with and chill and, you know, have that person that can help you out in the future as well. This is a great way to do that. Both people get some decent pay. Both people unlock some really good discounts for some very fun vehicles you know, the Runer 2000, if you don't like the Mark II oppressor, bam, here's your discount for the Mark I, and you're good to go, right? There's nothing wrong with that. So, again, there's not nothing too crazy with the guides on this. You just follow the instructions to go through it, to snack up, armor up, and you'll have a good time with it. So, I really do hope you guys check these out and play these while they're still double money and RP, and uh, just enjoy them. And, oh, again, make some decent money and get some good discounts, all right? If you guys got any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for coming out of the video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Ills and Reels content and the game Smash. I mean, smash that like button. And we'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Peace out. Yeah.